what up guys nakamoto crypto here unfortunately mm finance just got exploited yes another one two million dollars just got wiped out of this protocol by a phishing attack and once again these developers of these DeFi projects have let us down stay tuned like and subscribe let's get to it so mm finance just hit us with a an update and they said hi all please refrain from doing anything on our website right now as we suspect that there might be a front end breach do not swap withdraw or deposit any funds at the moment but by the time they posted this message it was too late people were already wondering what the heck is going on i'm literally making a withdrawal this guy says thank god i saw this this guy says i swapped savannah for m share and didn't receive any funds what's going on this guy says it's too late i already lost money this guy says i lost 3k and so on now they have posted later on an update and it says pretty much that this was indeed a phishing attack and it was a successful dns hijacking and this is the update mm finance have posted they said mm finance was a subject of a dns attack earlier where an attacker managed to inject a malicious contract address into the front end code so their code was vulnerable somebody exploited it the attacker used a dns vulnerability to modify the router contract address in our hosted file also resolving this issue takes precedent above all we understand that some of you have lost significant funds and are filled with worries and panic with that being said at this juncture the best thing that we can do for all of us is just to drop the emotions as much as possible and work together through this hurdle come on people lost their funds of course they are going to be emotional mm finance you need to do better it's simple you was neglectful you got hit up you need to do better and also they said you know this resulted in users who interacted with mm finance between the 4th of may from losing a lot of funds the users were trying to swap and every time they swap the money doesn't show up it goes into the attacker's address every time they try to add liquidity money goes into the hacker's address every time they try to remove liquidity they, they were literally giving their money away out of every action they started this was very scary and so when these victims were doing all of this the malicious router kicked in and also the liquidity pools were withdrawn all to the attacker's address approximately 2 million us dollars worth of digital assets have been compromised and bridged over to the ethereum network via a multi-chain followed by a laundered tornado cash website i told you guys about tornado cash when i was making the other video the other day um, that tornado cash is like the main website where all of these hackers go to it lit it's literally a website that rambles on many different addresses and it gives you these private network addresses where you can just funnel your money out of there and off you go this is the resolution that they offered mm finance says to those who lost their money our team currently consists of cybersecurity expertise whom are monitoring the sites around the clock this is also why we have an immediate response to inform our beloved community members about this hijacking attempt and also to resolve the attack going forward we will be bringing in other security firms to look into these dns configurations from the service provider and also to prevent other attacks in the future for this to happen it's too late man these devs they need to do better they are very neglectful and people have been losing money a lot lately they said we will also be removing two service providers from our deployment stack this will reduce these kind of attacks so most importantly the main thing you need to know that according to mm finance all smart contracts are safe and all funds of all users are safu <laughs> this is a funny joke it became a catchy phrase now in DeFi. all your funds are safu when in reality they are not they just got exploited this is a bad time to be putting them kind of safu jokes into this now this means that you know the mm finance system tokens are not affected and yet they got exploited so to perform a swap now which i wouldn't recommend you to do right now you need to re refresh the website you know control shift 
all of these instructions that you need to follow by letters to make sure that your funds are still not going to the attackers. Here's the attackers addresses. So as you can see, as of seven hours ago, he's still withdrawing money from um, the website. So here's the compensation plan now for those who lost their money. They said, our team is very sorry that this has happened and we will do our best to make sure that funds are restored to those who lost it. On our end, we will set up compensation pools for those who are affected. For those who unfortunately lost their funds by the attacker, the team will be executing this compensation plan. And this is by using the devs shares of any trading fees purchased with the MUSD trading fees. Uh, here we go again. This compensation pool will run for like 45 days. So for the next 45 days, those who lost their funds, that means that if you put in $10,000, for example, you're not going to get your money back, but they, they can give you some of their trading fee shares. If, if that's up to $1,000, $2,000, that's all you can get back from this. And this is what's pissing me off about these devs, man. They are very neglectful. People give you their hard earned money. You created a website, a dApp, and you neglect your smart contract code, make it so vulnerable that you overlook everything. You just want to hurry up and launch. You hurry up and launch and somebody's reading your code behind the scenes. These hackers are smart, you know. They are sitting back, just watching, waiting for you to grow in terms of popularity, waiting for your funds to grow so they can hit you. So the devs need to be more responsible in terms of launching these contracts to make sure that the user's funds are safe. And that is the plain truth about this. Now, the community is extremely mad as they should. You know, they people are pissed off, man. Look at this. This guy says, what do I have to do to get my tokens back? Your tokens are gone. You just heard the, the devs in that announcement. They literally said that your compensation plan is just they will give you some of the trading fees and that's all you're going to get. You're not going to get the entirety of your funds back. Whatever that hacker stole is gone. This guy says, I'd like all my money back, not just a portion of it. Does anyone know how how much was stolen? Yes, $2 million was stolen. Well, they said $2 million in that thing. So we don't know how much was taken out this guy says so now not only i have about 8k gone missing because of the hacker but also all the fake accounts offering quick fixes that mm finance allows have now stolen an additional 5k from my wallet now this guy lost 8k from the hack and an additional 5k from his wallet from fake accounts offering to fix their wallet so these guys are so vulnerable and neglectful they are worried about a hacker and there are also fake accounts that are out there scamming people on mm finance this is bad guys this is absolutely terrible this guy says there are so many fake accounts trying to help and it's a bit overwhelming now they did say that two million dollars was exposed some people are saying no he only got two hundred thousand dollars out of it people lost a lot of money man and and rightfully so people are pissed off and this is What's sad about these developers? You've seen Splassive, for example, when it went down. The reason why I went so hard, I went in on Splassive, is because of uh, Bitcoin Browns, that guy's neglect, you know. If he was sitting around on Telegram um, with no money at all, uh, just being friends with developers, he's not a coder himself, from what I understand. Um, and he decided to create Splassive based on the success of Drip without checking if this code have a bug or anything he just went ahead and launched it even upon people telling him that hey this might have a bug he didn't listen he just money grabber it's this is what i was telling you about this platform it's a money grab there's no two percent a day bitcoin brown can um, pull out of his pocket and give it to you you know it's, it's it's pretty much impossible this is just a game of monopoly that's going back around circulating um new investors paying old investors it's just a system protocol smart contract that they lay out like that. It's an ROI contract with some spooky promises behind that they know that they can't really keep up with that they are doing. You know, if a guy sits on Telegram with no money and all of a sudden comes up with a platform calling it Splassive and he's now able to pay you 2% a day and people just believe it and they jumped on it, they got wrecked. And now, even though it relaunches, 
people still are not confident enough to get back into those kind of platforms elephant money is the same thing bank teller neglecting people's funds um if people trust you with their funds make sure that they don't lose it bro yeah make sure that you don't lose people's funds um that goes mm finance i don't care if it's a uh, uh, for drip or elephant money or splashive i just want people to make money into DeFi. i don't sit here and just be hating on these projects all the time i'm fighting for the little guy i'm fighting for the people who trust these devs and are putting their money into this hoping to get a small roi on um on their investments that's all we want we want everybody to win in DeFi. if drip works drip is still paying fine then Splashive should work too and um, uh, Elephant Money and all of these platforms because they make the same promises. That's all everybody want. I want everybody to win in the DeFi space. I'm not here to create hate or FUD or all of this crap. I'm just here to make sure that these devs are in check. People are calling them out and people do not make excuse for MM Finance that they, they were neglectful and they got exploited and they lost people lost money and now they don't have money to give you back it's just a small DeFi dap on the chronoscrypto.com chain that's all it is they don't have millions of dollars on the side as insurance to pay everybody back their funds you heard what they said we're going to create some kind of pool and if we make trading fees encouraging everybody to make more trades so they can have trading fees to give somebody some portion of their funds back but you're not going to get all your funds back and unfortunately this is the state of DeFi right now it is extremely sad you have exploits from right and left and people are just carrying on believing into these um platforms now mm finance is legit they haven't scammed everybody but they did get hit up and also this is a result of that video that i did pretty much last week and you've seen what happened then it was some scammy project that was literally inside mm finance they were pulling liquidity out slowly rugging their investors while their unsuspecting users keeps depositing money in those pools until mm finance picked it up and called out that project over doing such a thing you know all of these guys they sit around creating projects just to make money out of you so you need to be extra 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 cautious uh on uh, mm finance if you are trading on mm finance um i know my friend is there samuel uh, i hope you didn't lose money on uh, mm finance uh, mm finance is legit is a good platform there's nothing wrong with them but there's a lot of projects inside mm finance that you need to be wary of and also um phishing attacks can happen you know this is DeFi. it's very sad and unfortunate but yeah this is the state of crypto right now guys this was just a warning video to ask you to you know be careful um trading into DeFi right now as we speak um you can keep on trading but just be cautious going into any project any liquidity pool because if you lose your money chances are you're not going to get it back this is not like a bank thing where if something happens they can compensate your funds you can get it back there's insurance and bonds that are backing the banks and also reserve banks that are backing the banks there's none of that into DeFi. if your funds are gone it's just gone and that's why you need to be extra cautious like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out